Hey guys, it's JT Tran, and I'm here in London with the beautiful and intelligent Kezia Noble, the female dating expert. So, I get this question all the time, and I'm sure you can help. Girls like to put guys in boxes, where this is a guy that she wants to sleep with, or the dreaded friend zone box. So how does a guy get out of the friend zone? Okay, well, first of all, it depends how long he's been in the friend zone for. Mm. Um, if it's a case that he's been in the friend zone for more than six months, it's, it, it, it is difficult. Mm. I've, I've helped guys achieve that, but let's let's look at something like uh, maybe a month. Okay. Okay, where there's still some hope. <laughs> um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to suddenly just vomit out your feelings to her. Okay. Right? You don't want to suddenly think, okay, I'm going to turn down the lights, put on a little bit of like R&B, and I'm just going to... Make your move. Like, exactly. Never, because she's not expecting it, okay? So it has to be like a slow process. And this um, this also applies, it, it, the process applies to how long you've been, the length of the process applies to how long you've been in that friend zone for. So if you've been in there for six months, it's going to be a longer process, if that makes sense. So what you want to do is you want to start using stuff like jealousy plot lines, okay? You want to remind her that you are a sexual guy. Yes. And I know it sounds really, really weird, but um, girls stop remembering that their friend is, you know... A, a male. Exactly. Yeah. They if just you... want him to be gay or something at least, yeah. you know, or... or <laughs> they a forget male. he has a penis. Yeah, exactly. So rather than saying, hey, I got a penis and I want to fuck you with it, <laughs> you, what, you, <laughs> what you want to do... You have to do it with imagination. Yeah, you have to start talking about other dates that you're going on. A lot of people say, oh, that's sabotage. You don't want to do that. No, it's not. You're not sabotaging any here, anything here apart from the friend zone. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what you're sabotaging. Remember that. So you want to start talking about other dates that you've been going on, girls that you've slept with. And you might think, oh, I feel a bit uncomfortable saying this with her because like, she really trusts me and she doesn't want to hear this kind of stuff with me. Like, Tough shit. She has to hear this no. stuff from you. Okay, you have to like break the cycle. Um, so you start talking about stuff like that, um, and it, it, in a funny way, it does make the girls jealous a little bit. It, mm -hmm. It's not like an obvious type of jealousy, but it's you're implanting these thoughts in her, like, mm, why doesn't he see me like that? Yeah. Why does he keep talking about that girl? Well, she's seeing she's like other like. girls like to play with that toy, and natural instinct is, I want that toy now. Exactly, you always want what you can't have, and mm. you, you shouldn't give her too much attention. Like, don't be that guy that's calling her 11 o'clock at night, talking to each other on the phone endlessly. That's what she does with her yeah. girlfriends. You don't, or, or maybe her boyfriend, fine, but n a lot of guys, what I've noticed is they end up being the shoulder to cry on. The emotional tampon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna say the agony aunt, but emotional <laughs> tampon is brilliant. I'm feeling that. Okay, yeah, okay, go thank ahead. You. Um, so yeah, you don't wanna be that guy thinking, okay, I'm just gonna get her into bed by, you know, listening to her bullshit every every evening for hours and hours. Um, I'm telling you what not to do here a lot also, uh, classic um, schoolboy errors. So um, you want to start using sexual compliments on her rather than saying, oh, you look fabulous, darling. You look lovely. You look really nice and pretty. You wanna start saying, I'm going to use you as a lady for okay. a second. You yeah. want to start right. saying like, you know what? Your legs are fucking hot. Oh, they are. Okay, so you want to use legs. <laughs> exactly. That's how she'll respond. No, but that, that you want to focus on legs. You want to go for, for tits and ass. You want to go for legs. Because legs is it's not going too far. Yeah, but, but it's, it's still, still sensual. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So she'll turn around and, and she won't um, react badly to it. It'll just be like, okay, you've created that hairline shift in her perception of you and the interaction and the relationship. Um, you can start then using double-sided compliments like, you know what, uh, you look good tonight, like she's about to go out, but you know what, if you're wearing, and it can be your thing, okay, this is what's important, it can be your fetish, like, you know, those plastic, gloss, stripper heels, whatever it, whatever it does it for you, okay, but if you wore that, you'd look really hot, like, I would make a move on you if you yeah. were wearing that, and what you're doing is you're not saying, I fancy you, you're saying, there's the possibility that I could fancy you, but I don't. Not yet. No. You have to work for it. And you, what you're doing is you're, you're dating her now. You know, you're, you're kind of like, you're going backwards which and, and you're, you're doing it all again, which you should have done at the beginning. You should right. have been sexualizing it at the beginning, but now you're sexualizing it. But you're doing it this way because uh, she's already classified you or boxed you in this friendship zone, if that makes sense. So I would start, um, it's little increments, okay, rather than a big gesture. Right. If you do any big gesture, 99.9% yeah. of the time, okay, um, 
don't listen to any friends that tell you to do that. Please don't do that, okay? Because then it just makes my job a lot harder because I have to pick up the pieces and yeah. all together. So it's little step-by-step -step increments. It's extremely frustrating, extremely frustrating. And there's going to be times you're like, I just got to declare my feelings to her. No, you got to you got to do it. a nice, slow process, change her perception of you, and then you can make the move or maybe she'll make the move. That's that's the beautiful thing yeah. with these techniques is that they start making the move. Like, don't you, don't you want me? You know, you just see me as a friend. Stop giving her too much attention. Also, don't be the guy that's always really available. Your time is precious and she has to earn it. It's, you know, don't, don't reward bad behavior. It's very simple rules like that. This is like very beginner's level stuff I'm right. teaching here right now. But I do understand that there, there's a lot of guys who are in friend zone who are deeply frustrated um, I don't really know what else I can add I mean then it becomes like individual cases right. but like I said it has to be incremental small steps don't give us so much attention your time's valuable um, stop meeting up for coffees in the daytime go more nighttime locations more double-sided compliments more sexual compliments surrounding yourself with more women that she yeah. can see you with but be secretive around her be secretive <laughs> like uh, I've got to go somewhere where are you going oh, nothing Let's get meet somebody. Yeah, yeah, and then she's like, no, I want to know. So you're actually like creating... Mystery. Yeah, you're creating a mystery and you are provoking intrigue, which are all very attractive qualities. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I could write a... I should write an ebook about this, how to get <laughs> a friend zone. Um, there's so much information I can give on this, but I would say well, that... Well... You know, yeah. To begin with, start with that. <laughs> well, how can our audience find more about your awesome advice, Kezia? Just go to the website, www.kezia-noble.com. Okay. Thanks so much. Right, bye, guys. Hey there. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news, too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right. We've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.